everyone. So it's Mimi's Moths here. Hi. So I would like to talk to you today about some selling strategies. There's only one of you. There's only one of me. There's only one of all of us. So that is your unique selling point. There are hundreds, thousands of girls on Panty. There are thousands of guys. There's thousands of people. And everybody has a niche that they will maybe fall into but there's only one of you so you have to really utilize your unique selling point and really push that basically panty is your own e-commerce business and anything you put into it is what you're going to get out of it so if it's something that you just do occasionally as a part-time asset that's what it will be but if you put a bit more work into it if you have the opportunity and the time to do that then obviously you can build it up to be a little bit better i think something to um really take on under your uh, under your thoughts is what are you marketing how are you what makes you you so some people might be a little bit kitsch a little bit more along the lines of burlesque theme tease but not too much not too overt sexually um, other people may be the complete opposite end of the spectrum they may be a dom they may be more of a, an aggressive kind of uh, kind of gal so it just depends where you fit into that spectrum i find myself at opposite ends sometimes there are times when i feel really empowered and i want to put on my black and my red lingerie and and it makes me feel good to wear my red lipstick and then there are other times where I want to go for the girl next door, look that's how I'm feeling, like today I have my unicorns on. So it uh, it just depends where you're at and what your sellers are after. Now obviously you will get to have regular sellers and you will know what individuals like and you can tailor your sales for that. So as long as you are confident in what you're doing, then the world is your oyster, you're going to have no problems. When you start questioning yourself or what makes you special, that's unfortunately going to come across to two buyers and they are also going to think okay well what makes you special and go to the next person so you really need to have that confidence and that belief in yourself that what you put in is what you're going to get out there's other ways that you can develop your business for example playing with your prices doing promotions those kind of things now some sellers have a across the board price, um, myself included. I tend to just charge one price and then customers know with me any item is that price. There are other sellers who look at things completely differently and think about quality of a lingerie, for example, which I have done when I've had uh, specific orders where people have wanted to purchase an item. What I have done is I've created a wish list on a particular site, I'm sure we all know which one it is, um, and people then have the opportunity to purchase an item him if they would like me to wear it so I as a seller am not losing out by having to fluctuate my prices everybody knows my fixed price and if they want me to wear something special it's not a problem they can purchase the item special it doesn't have to be for my wish list I've had buyers send me links to sites that they've seen they would love to see me in a particular item yeah no problem I purchase the item they know the price of it obviously I get the money from them first that goes through to my PayPal I'll purchase the item I'll then wear it for them. Often I will include a photograph of myself in the item and then they will pay for the packaging as well. There's all these different ways that you can cover it. I have a fixed price and then I include shipping, which is why I ask people exactly where they are. Um, and then I work out the shipping costs to them when I do track to sign shipping because that then just makes everyone feel more comfortable. They know for a fact that I have sent the item, they've got a receipt and a tracking number, and I know whether they have or not received the item. So it just works really well for everybody. That's a little uh, tip on some selling strategies for you. And then you can just, you know, fluctuate how you want to sell those items. Do you want to have specific types that you package? Do you want to do it very discreetly? It's entirely up to you, but these are things that you can explore. So I hope you're all having fun on Panty. Look forward to seeing you again soon.